Spring floods of 2024 in Russia have become a real catastrophe. The aftermath of the flood was felt in 39 regions of the country, but the situation was particularly severe in the Orenburg region. The breach of a dam, built to protect the city of Orenburg from the overflow of the Ural River, led to the emergency evacuation of local residents. The floods caused a decrease in the quality of drinking water and a shortage of potable water. A state of emergency of federal level was declared in the Orenburg region. Such a large-scale flooding in the region has not been observed in its entire history of observations. The area of flooding is steadily expanding. Within a day from April 13th, about a thousand houses and nearly 2,000 plots of land were flooded in Orenburg. By April 14th, more than 35,000 houses and plots of land were flooded. Local residents united to help each other evacuate belongings, children, and animals. A state of emergency was also declared in the Korgon and Tumen regions. In the Korgon region, more than 1,000 local residents were evacuated. On April 14th, the waters of the Tobol River washed away two bridges in villages. The wave of floods also reached Kuzbis. The Mrasu River overflowed its banks, forcing local residents to seek shelter on the roofs of their homes. Residents of Uestika Burza and neighboring villages claim that such floods have never occurred here before. Sudden flooding in Oman since April 14th. Heavy rains with thunderstorms have led to massive floods in many provinces of the Sultanate of Oman. The floods affected the provinces of Muscat, North Al-Batna, South Al-Batna, South Al-Sharkia, North Al-Sharkia, al, al, al and al dahira The floods caused serious material damage and led to disruptions in electricity and communication networks. The Ministry of Education suspended classes in schools in many provinces until normal conditions are restored. At Marmal Airport, 64 millimeters of rainfall was recorded in one day. This is twice as much as usually falls here in an entire year. Floodwaters swept away people and cars on the streets of the country. The death toll reached 20, but rescuers continue to find the bodies of those who perished in the floods. Teams from the Royal Oman Police ROP, and the Civil Defense and Ambulance Authority of Oman CDAA, conducted numerous rescue operations to save people trapped in their cars or carried away by rapid flooding. Approximately 35 people who found themselves in distress in the Wilayat of Ibri were rescued. It was also possible to free 21 people from a flooded school bus in the city of Nizwa. During another rescue operation, 1,200 people were evacuated from a school surrounded by water in the Almadabi area. Local residents also joined the rescue operations. Videos posted on social media captured heroic efforts to rescue children stranded in the midst of a raging stream. <laughs> Deadly flooding in Pakistan. On April 16th, authorities in Pakistan reported that intense unseasonal rains, lightning, and flooding in the country over the past few days have resulted in the deaths of at least 50 people, with dozens more injured. The provinces most affected are Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in the northwest, Punjab in the east, and Balochistan in the southwest. Populated areas and agricultural lands have been inundated, and there have been disruptions to power and transportation networks, with schools closed. In Punjab, Pakistan's most populous province, from Friday to Sunday, 21 people died from lightning strikes. In Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, heavy rains and floods caused numerous landslides. Across the province, 85 homes were damaged and 21 people, including children, were reported dead due to natural disasters. At least eight people also died in the western province of Balochistan, with the coastal city of Pasni being flooded. Heavy rain also fell on the country's capital city, Islamabad. Record rains in the United Arab Emirates on April 16th. The United Arab Emirates, a country known for its arid climate, experienced the heaviest rainfall in 75 years. 
the government issued a red alert and schools, banks, and offices were closed across the country. In the Alline area, the highest rainfall in 75 years was recorded. 10 inches of rain fell within 24 hours, compared to the annual rainfall average of 1.9 inches. In Dubai, a day's worth of rain was 19 times more than the usual amount for the entire month of April. The rain virtually paralyzed life in one of the world's most advanced cities and led to loss of life. Streets and roads turned into rivers. Metro services were halted. And the world's largest mall, Dubai Mall, was flooded. Elevators in some buildings, including some of Dubai's tallest skyscrapers, malfunctioned. The operation of Dubai's international airport, the world's busiest, was severely disrupted. Runways were flooded, leading to the cancellation of hundreds of flights and leaving thousands of passengers stranded at the airport. The rain was accompanied by strong winds, uprooting palm trees and dislodging furniture from balconies. Large hailstones damaged car windows. There were also reports of problems in other parts of the country. Powerful eruption of Mount Ruang in Indonesia on April 16th. An eruption of Mount Ruang began in the North Sulawesi province of Indonesia. According to the Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation, more than 1,000 earthquakes occurred two days before the eruption. On Tuesday, the volcano erupted lava, and a column of smoke rose into the sky for more than a mile. The eruption was accompanied by explosions and volcanic lightning. As of Wednesday morning, more than 4,000 lightning strikes were registered around Ruang. On Wednesday, the volcano's activity increased, and it ejected ash up to a height of 13.7 kilometers. As a result, the alert level was raised to the maximum. 828 people were evacuated from the nearby villages of Pumpant Village and Pathology Village in the Tagulandang district. Due to the spread of volcanic ash, the international airport in the city of Minato, located more than 100 kilometers from the volcano, was closed. Also, volcanic ash disrupted communication and signaling networks in the village of Lampatihi. On Thursday, evacuation was announced for 11,000 residents of the surrounding area, including Tagulandang Island, where about 20,000 people live. Local authorities declared a state of emergency for 14 days from April 16th to 29th. Weather apocalypse in China for the first time in China's history. Such a large number of dangerous weather events are occurring simultaneously. On April 16th, the city of Fuzhou in Jiangsu province was hit by a convective storm with thunder, heavy rain, and gusty winds. The storm left destruction and chaos in its wake. Fallen trees with roots, roads strewn with broken branches and leaves everywhere. Wind gusts reached 35.9 meters per second, comparable to the strength of a landfalling typhoon, setting a new record for the region. <laughs> On the same day, a tornado swept through Huijin County, Shuazhou City, Shangxi Province. In the evening of April 16th, hail fell in Huanqing County, Guangxi Province, due to severe convective weather. It lasted for an hour and caused serious damage to homes, farmland, and vehicles. Thunderstorms with heavy rain occurred across Guangxi province, accompanied by a huge number of lightning strikes. From April 17th to 18th, the region experienced over 126,000 flashes of lightning. At the Shanlin weather station, a wind gust of 30.3 meters per second was recorded, exceeding the station's historical record. On April 18th, large hail fell in 39 counties of Guizhou province, some as large as chicken eggs. Some car roofs were pierced. 
A convective storm brought residents of the province abnormal and strong winds with a maximum speed of 32.5 meters per second in Sianyi City. On April 19, torrential rains occurred in Guangdong Province. In Qingyun County, a rare and frightening phenomenon appeared, green sky, which then darkened, making the day look like night. A level 4 emergency situation was declared to combat flooding. Due to heavy rains, ship traffic on the Dongjiang River is suspended, and vessels are prohibited from leaving the port. There are climatic events occurring cyclically once every 12,000 years, caused by cosmic influences. However, due to human intervention and disruption of the Earth's ecosystem, a global catastrophe threatens us in this cycle, after which life will become impossible. To prevent this negative scenario, people need to realize what is happening and act together. Scientists and volunteers already understand the true causes of natural anomalies, what their consequences will be, and how we can prevent them. This information is available on the Global Crisis, the Responsibility Forum. The time has come to unite and convey the truth to people so that together we can solve this global problem.